Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Viresh Gyasi and Milos Roganovic. This is a game from the Chess Olympiad played in Batumi, Georgia in 2018. Viresh Gyasi had white pieces and he started with e4. Milos Roganovic played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, the standard move. Knight to c6, knight to c3, and now g6, going for the dragon variation of the Sicilian defense. Maybe. Why to move? Bishop to e2 was played. d4 is the most played move. Bishop to e2 by Giasi, choosing a less popular move. This is what Carlsen does very successfully. Bishop to g7. Giasi cast at kingside, d6, h3 preventing bishop to g4, a6 intending b5, a4, e5. This is discouraging d4 by white, big time. Bishop to c4, f g to e7, d3, and Miloš Roganovic cast at kingside. Knight to d5 h6 preventing bishop to g5 knight to e1 intending f4 king to h7 f4 black to move f5 fighting fire with fire knight takes on e7 queen takes on e7 pawn takes pawn on f5 bishop takes on f5 after 14 moves have been played black is a better activity of the pieces do you agree the game continued. Bishop to d5. Pawn takes pawn on f4. Why to move? Bishop takes on c6. If bishop takes on f4, then bishop takes on b2. If rook takes on f4, then knight to d4. So we have bishop takes on c6, b takes on c6, rook takes on f4. Rook from a to e8 white to move. If something like, let's play a random move, a5, then queen takes knight. So, Yassi played rook to f1. It is so obvious now that black pieces are more active and better placed. But how to continue? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Milos Roganovic continued with bishop to d4 check. King to h1, black to move, and to play a killer move. Please pause and find the best move for black. If you pause, what did you find? Black, play the move, and white resigned. And the move is this amazing bishop to g4. White resigned. Why? I will just show you three simple lines. First, if knight goes to f3, then rook takes knight, and after g takes on f3, queen to h4, if f takes on g4, queen takes on h3, checkmate. What else? If queen takes on g4, then rook takes on f1, check, king to h2, rook to h1, check, king takes rook, queen to e1, check, king to h1, Bishop to g1, check, king to h1, bishop to f2, check, king to h2, queen to g1, checkmate. This is a pattern to remember. And just one more line. If in this position h takes on g4, then black plays queen to h4, checkmate. What a game. White's quiet approach against the dragon. Didn't work, did it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.